Hello everybody, it's CJ Malo here, and I'm going to do this part of the presentation, and in this part, we are going to put together uh, a promo email that's designed to sell a product or a service, but that's it doesn't seem salesy. In other words, want to come up with something that is going to really get people to click, because one of the hardest, at least one of the biggest problems that I have is I have very good open rates but you have to get the people to click as well and sometimes that can be difficult there are big gaps a lot of times between open and click-through rates uh, because people for some reason uh, if they don't see something right away that piques their interest they're gonna close the email without clicking and the reason why clicking is so important, obviously, is because if they don't click, they'll never land on your product page or your service page, and you won't be able to make a sale. There's a five-part formula that I use, and I don't include, this doesn't include the intro or the outro. The, the intro is very easy, and I'll cover that when we write our email. And also the closing part of the email are, uh, is easy as well, and I'll also demonstrate that. But the main formula is a five-part formula, and part one is to identify and commiserate. In other words, hey, uh, you know, I have this problem too, and I hate it when, or, or I hate it when this happens, and I, I know exactly what you're feeling, and what is it, you know. Don't you hate it when this happens? That type of stuff. What you're doing with that psychologically, you're identifying with them. You're saying, "Hey, I um, I, I know I know what kind of problem you have. I'm having the same problem, and I know what it's like. And you know what? I think I have something that can help you. Uh, that's how you transition from identifying with them to defining the problem." Let's say it's some, I don't know, constipation, tinnitus, uh, there's a, you know, eczema or dermatitis or dry skin or uh, bad teeth or bad skin or there's tons of these health products. And this can also apply, of course, to the make money niche or uh, home business niche or online business niche, but it, it works well for everything, but I mean, you know, it, 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 when I say define the problem, it could be that, hey, I want to make money online and, and I'm not able to and uh, I, I've tried and failed at a bunch of things and, you know, you want to kind of say, look, I have something that's worked for me that I think is going to be what you need. Now, obviously, when you're on a side note, when you're saying these things in your email, you want them to be true uh, as much as, as possible. You don't want to lie to people. So the, it's important you, that you're promoting a good product and that the product will do what you say it will do. Because there's nothing worse than gaining the trust of, of a person and turning them into a customer and to have them lose that trust, you know, right away, and then, you know, not only have you lost the customer for life, and that means revenue, you also, you know, nowadays, word gets around fast on the internet, and there are plenty of review sites, like Yelp and Google reviews, but there are others too, like I think like Trust Advisor or something like, there's tons of them. Word gets out on these sites that your product stinks, or your promoting a product that's supposed to help people and it doesn't do anything, your reputation is going to be shot pretty quick. And not to mention that, you could end up with legal trouble uh, if you do something like that. So it's important to find good products, and and that's not that hard to do. You just have to test them, uh, get a review copy, test the product out. If it does what it says it does and it's going to help people, then you promote it. It's that that's That's what I go by because... I'll admit, I'll openly admit, I used to throw a whole lot of junk out there. Um, the first, this is like the second business I've had, but the first business I had that I started back in like 2010, 
I threw, I was throwing like anything at the wall to see what stuck, and I would promote a lot of products that probably weren't that great. And that, to my detriment, uh, and the reason why I'm actually doing this, this um, course right now is because I've totally changed that. And what I'm doing now is really working, and that's why I wanna, I wanna help other people. And this is what I'm doing it with. So anyway, let's move on to number three. How will your product solve the problem? Um, you know, wh whether it uh, it's a laxative and it loosens them up for the constipation issue, or if it's tinnitus, if it if it cuts down or stops the buzzing in the ears and that type of stuff, how will it solve it? And you know, how does it do? How does it do it? And that's important because it not only does it lay the foundation for um, them to expect, you know, what to expect when they click. It, it also can showcase some of the highlights of your product. And that's when, in this part of the email, that you can do that. And I'm going to write an email for you. You can look over my shoulder, but that's, um, I'm just trying to, going to get through this and we'll start on the email. Um, and then four, why they desperately need what you're selling. And something like this should be like, I, w I would probably say something like, you know, hey, you do, you know, stop suffering. I I can this, this can fix what's ailing you. And you know, if you don't want to deal with A, B, and C anymore, uh, I think you should definitely click here or definitely check out uh, this brand new exciting product. Now, one thing I'll tell you is I never mention the names of the product in the email. I and there's a couple of reasons for that. And one is the curiosity factor that I want them to kind of be like, oh what's this? I maybe I haven't heard of this. And two is that, you know, if you if you put a product name out there, they'll what can happen is people will just go to Google and start, you know, typing like product reviews and they'll end up with someone else's affiliate link. So you really don't want to Name the product in your email directly, and I'll, I'll, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go over that. But number five is the scarcity factor. Hey, after 24 hours, this deal's off the table. Um, or, you know, if you want to get it for $9.95 and not pay $19.95, you've got to get it within the next 30 minutes. Stuff like that. That's, you know, scarcity. You're creating a, um, a need in the consumer to act quickly because what happens with when you promote a product or, or with any anything that people buy what happens is the more time goes by that they don't buy something the less and less likely they are to end up purchasing that product so the more time you let go by from your email to the time that maybe they get to read it or they click through it could be too late uh, because as time goes by, people will lose interest or they'll find something else to help them. Uh, so, you know, you really, now I'm not saying you're going to go out there and tell them, hey, look, your house is on fire. You better run out and grab this product right away. You know, run, run out and grab this water that I'm selling because your house is on fire. I'm not saying do something, you do that. You just kind of create a little, like, hey, they've got this deal going on, but, you know, it's only going on for the next 12 hours or for the next 8 hours or for the next 40, 50 customers, what, whatever it is. And then the last part of the email is just to sign off. Those are easy. We'll go over those. It's like two year, a lot of people do two-year success, best wishes, that type of thing. And then we'll talk about, like, if we should do a PS in the, uh, I always use them. But, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about them. Let me open a fresh, I can just, uh, no, I'm going to open a fresh one. Let me open a fresh notepad and we'll start writing an email. And where is my notepad? There it is. And what, for this email, I just uh, signed up to a, a new, uh, it's like an MLM or network marketing. And that's the product that I'm going to write the email for. Okay, to try to, it'll be like a recruitment email for LiveGood, which is the product that we're going to write the email for. Again, this is, a, I'm just choosing this because this is uh, something that I 
I'm involved in, so it's going to be easier for me to to talk about to talk about this just because I know a whole lot about it. Um, let me look at the... So, the, this email is not actually not going to be to sell the health products. It's going to be to sell the opportunity, um, the MLM opportunity. Okay. So, we'll start it like this. I usually put... I, I don't put dare... If, if I don't have... Okay, so if I only collect email addresses, but if you collect name, it's uh, if you collect the first name, it's always good to put, you know, the first name thing. I think it looks something like this or something. Anyway, whatever your autoresponder is, it's always good to to address people uh, by their first name and any kind of greeting that you can give that's. Uh, more personable it, it, it's better off that you do that so I usually start them off like I just it's something simple like I'll put like how's it going I hope this email reaches you well and prospering I mean that's kind of a much but well for the you know for this demonstration we'll we'll leave that and then I might start off and lead into it like If you're wondering why I'm writing today, it's because I just found out about a new home-based business that is taking the, yeah, I mean, really going to hype it up here, taking the industry by storm. Now, you already got the curiosity factor going here now. All right, and we will also go over subject lines, uh, and I have a kind of a little tip for you, little uh, trick, little free tool uh, to help you with subject lines. But subject lines are actually not difficult once you once you get your own system in place. And we'll talk about the way that I do it, which is always to cause a curiosity factor. But we'll we'll get to that. So we've. Now we're going to be into now the first part, which is to identify and commiserate. When I and what I would say is, uh, let's think of something. Okay, have you ever opened up one of your affiliate accounts just to see that you made? zero commissions you know okay so that's like that's a uh, a commiserating i mean hey you know it's a real letdown it's a real letdown so you, i'm kind of saying hey i know what that's like I, I i that happened to me i know what that's like so that's that's good you actually really i don't think need to go any further with that we just move on to the second part which is to define the problem. Now, that, that could be, that, that, that's pretty easy because the problem is that you want to make money online and you're not. So I, I might say something like, um, I know how difficult it is to make money online. You try... I'll, no, I'll put, I used to try every single shiny object that I came across. Oh, I put, I used to buy, used to buy. This is, this is more, this is kind of fleshing out the problem. I spent all, I'm going to put, I spent all that money. And none of those products helped me earn a penny online. Bang. That's the big problem. I, I, I couldn't make money online. I bought all kinds of products. I still couldn't make a penny online. Done. Now, 
lead into how will your product solve it very simply okay the fact is there are a lot of um, put uh, a lot of unscrupulous marketers out there who will try to sell you everything under the sun actually that can actually be more part of the product a uh, problem I think all right so we want to go to how will we solve it fix this okay how will we solve it I'll put you'll understand my surprise when I actually found a program that I could be successful with and It's so easy to get started that I think you could be successful too. Okay, very, very simple, but these work. I've been doing this for a while now, um, and these types of emails really work. All right, so here's the solution to the problem. If you are ready to finally start succeeding online then I want you to take a look at this and now obviously you're gonna put a link link here you can do um, I also in my emails I hyperlink things uh, so I usually put about three to four links in the email body depending on how long it is but I'll I'll hyperlink like I might hyperlink this a new home base business you know I might hyperlink that in the email just to give them a couple of links because people are used to clicking links in blog posts and things so that helps and then right here you'll you'd put um, I would you put anchor text too I'd put like maybe um, click here to check this amazing opportunity out right away <laughs> okay see I, I think this is fun a lot of people are like I can't write I hate writing but these this doesn't bother me this is actually kind of fun I think all right the scarcity factor check out this amazing opportunity right away and, okay say something like look I know you are probably skeptical But I am telling you that this is the real deal. You shouldn't wait too long because you'll miss out on, I don't know, 20% uh, higher commissions if you don't join within the next 24 hours right kind of a long sentence but you shouldn't wait too long you shouldn't wait too long because you'll miss out on 20 percent higher commissions if you don't join within the next 24 hours scarcity you know i might even put something like i'm not trying to rush you but i want you to get all of the incredible benefits that this program has to offer and now I would put probably another link here all right so we got our scarcity you've kind of done it this is it this is perfectly long enough for a sales email we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's probably a little bit long. I, I, I like to keep them like 12 to 15 sentences, but um, this is okay. And I think you could strip out a little, some of it, but um, I, I think it's great. I think it's great so far. So now you just kind of want to do like a little outro. Uh, and what I do is I say, hey, thanks so much for taking the time to read this email. I know you must get tons of emails every day. And the fact that you opened mine means a lot to me. All right? Nothing wrong with that. And that's true for me, at least. All right. If you have any questions, I usually put, feel free to get in touch anytime. And I always have, like, contact uh, information underneath my image, I put a little profile image at the end of the email and I have like my contact information. I'll have like a link to my Facebook, a link to my LinkedIn, and maybe like a link to my blog contact page or just my email address, something like that. But I always have plenty of contact information in here because I enjoy when people get in touch with me. And some, you know, and a lot of times you're going to open, I'll be honest with you, you're going to open yourself up for, um, you might get, you know, some nasty stuff, nasty, I call them little nasty grams, but um, sometimes from people, but, you know, you just got to brush that off and not pay attention to that. But the compliments that you'll get also, if you're doing your job right, it just makes it, uh, just makes this job so much more worth it. And it's, it is a great job. In fact, I don't even consider this stuff work. I mean, sending out an email every day, does that really work, you know? Um, I just consider myself lucky, but anyway, um, okay, if you have any questions, I'm sorry if I get sidetracked, okay, now I'll put something like, I, I try not to use two years success, because like everybody uses it, I'll put like, best wishes for your success. And now what I'll do is I'll have my profile pic here. I'll have my contact info here. Okay. And that's about that. Now, oh, PSs. If you want to do a PS, a lot of people do them. And it's a good idea. Um, I would, I just, in mine, I do like, uh, I have in links for my squeeze pages in them, so I'll put like, have you downloaded my latest free report, or I'll I'll name it if it has a name, um, and then just put, if not, click here, and obviously that'll be a hyperlink, uh, some people do PPS, I don't, I just do the PS, I mean, enough is enough really, then your profile pick and then contact info. And that is, that's it. Uh, that's how you write a promo email without sounding too salesy and pushy. Now, let's read it from start to finish. Uh, so, let's use my name, Chris. How's it going? I hope this email reaches you well and prospering. If you're wondering why I'm writing today, it's because I just found out about a new home-based business that has taken the industry by storm. Have you ever opened up one of your affiliate accounts just to see that you made zero commissions? It's a real letdown. You know what? I'm, I'm going to put, I know I have. It's a real letdown. I know how difficult it is to make money online. I used to buy every single shiny object that I came across. I spent all that money and none of those products helped me earn a penny online. Helped me too to earn a penny online. The fact is there are a lot of unscrupulous markets out there who try to sell you everything under the sun. You'll understand my surprise when I actually found a program that I could be successful with. And it's so easy to get started that I think you could be successful too. If you are ready to finally start succeeding online, then I want you to take a look at this. And then you have your link. And then you have, look, I know you're probably skeptical, but I am telling you this is the real deal. You shouldn't wait too long because you'll miss out on 20% higher commissions if you don't join within the next 24 hours. 
I'm not trying to rush you, but I want you to get all the incredible benefits that this program has to offer. Link here. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to read this email. I know you must get tons of emails every day, and the fact that you open mine means a lot to me. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch anytime. Best wishes for your success. And my name, P.S., uh, have you downloaded my latest free report? If not, click here. And that's it in a nutshell. It's not that difficult to do. You don't need to be consulting all kinds of thesauruses and dictionaries and, and all the, and going to article directories trying to get ideas or PLR articles or whatever. I've done all that, and I can tell you that the best thing that you can do if you're an email marketer is to write your own original emails. It's just they perform head and shoulders above the rest. And if you do that, just change that part up of your business, I guarantee that you're going to see a difference. So that's about it. Um, oh, subject lines. We haven't covered subject lines. I have a tool I use. Now, first of all, let me just talk a little bit about it. I, I always have a, uh, what, what I like to do is their curiosity lines and their open-ended subject lines. Like I might say, uh, so I might do something like, uh, I'll open another notepad. All right. I might say I, I, I'll, I'll do something like, have you heard about this yet? Or this is one that performed well for me. Can't make up your mind. I never thought I'd say this. Stuff like this is what I do. Uh, and these work really well. Uh, or, you know, or I'll say, you're going to miss this. Stuff like that. I mean, you kind of get the idea of what these perform uh, really, really well. You don't have to go. I see all these hypey ones like, oh, you're, uh, I, you never get the one where RE, uh, your PayPal commission, or RE, your account is being closed. Those don't ever, ever use those. They, people hate that. Uh, they get angry, they're more likely to mark the message spam, and that is going to hurt you, but it's going to hurt everybody, and it's going to hurt your autoresponder company, and you don't want that, because if you get too many spam complaints, they'll shut your account down, all right, and then, you know, it's only right, so you want to try to stick to good sales lines that work, these work, Free email. Subject line generator. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'll have a little sheet for you and I'll have this link. We'll put this link in there. This is uh, active campaign. And what it is is it's a free email subject line generator. If you cannot think of subject lines, you can come and use this. It works pretty good. You, you just choose from three different types of subject lines. And I guess uh, I would put like a benefit. Um, and for example, money. Or let's say money online. And then you click, click generate. So I'll put make. Make money online. The secret to making money online. The ultimate guide to making money. These are all ones you can use. This might be the best way to get money online you have to adjust them a little bit but how to get money online and then you just click generate more um little known ways to make money online that's a that's a good one why making money online is not good give me 20 minutes and i'll make i'll give you making money or i'll make you money online you could do who else wants more to, who else wants to make more money online this might be the best way to get money online. 15 things you didn't know about making money online. So this is a really great tool that you can use. It's free. You don't need an account with Active Campaign. You just follow the link and then you can use it. But for the most part, you want to go with subject lines that really, uh, they push the limit a little bit, but they don't, um, 
you know, but they don't break the law or they don't break uh, spam spam laws and stuff like that. Or, you know, for more ideas, uh, a good one that I used is, if you don't hurry, you'll miss it. I think this one got like something like 21% open rates and 19% click through this email that had this subject line. So that was kind of, that was just sick. That was a really good one. All right, guys, that's going to be about it. I'm kind of going on a long, it's going on a long time here. I think they wanted to keep it between 15 and 20 minutes, and I'm not sure if I've done so. At any rate, I want to thank you guys so much, and I hope you're enjoying the summit. And thanks to uh, all of the people that made it happen, and thank you so much for inviting me to do this presentation. Take care, guys, and best uh, wishes to all of you.